Chapter 1 Our Earth in the Solar System The Universe Have you ever heard of the word space? The sun, the moon, the stars and the planets are located in space. All these things in space make up our universe. The universe also consists of dust, gases, pieces of rock and many other things. You will read about this later. Our universe is very big. The sun, the moon, planets and stars are called heavenly bodies. Did you know that the sun is actually a very big star? Many such stars, clouds and gases together form a galaxy. There are different galaxies in our universe. The sun is a part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. There are billions of stars in the Milky Way. The Solar System As you know, the sun is a star. It is a huge ball of very hot gases. The sun is the source of light and energy in the solar system. This has made life possible on Earth. Eight heavenly bodies, called planets, move around the sun. Our Earth is one among those planets. The sun and the eight planets make the solar system. Planets The word planet means a wanderer. The eight planets in the order of increasing distance from the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Planets move around the Sun in fixed paths called orbits. Each planet takes different duration of time to move around the Sun once. Our Earth takes a little over 365 days. We call this period of time a year. Planets do not have light of their own. They receive light from the sun. Earth, the blue planet. Look at the pictures of the solar system given above. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. Do you know what makes our Earth a special planet? It is the only known planet which is home to all living things. This means it is the only planet that supports life. About three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water and one-fourth by land. The surface of the Earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called the atmosphere. Land, water and air are the three things necessary to support life. Can you guess why our Earth is also called the blue planet? Shape of the Earth For thousands of years, people believed that the Earth was flat like a saucer. So, People were scared that if they went too far, they would fall off the Earth's edge. Around 500 years ago, a Portuguese sailor named Ferdinand Magellan started on a long journey from Spain and kept sailing. After about three years, his ships reached the same place from where they had started. This proved that the Earth is round like a ball. Photographs of the Earth taken from space also show that it is not flat. Neither it is a perfect sphere. It is shaped like an orange as it is slightly flattened at the top and the bottom. The Horizon If we stand on the top of a hill or a tall building, we can see that the sky and the land seem to meet at a point. This point is known as the horizon. Remember, the land and the sky do not actually meet at the horizon. They only appear to meet as the earth is spherical and we cannot see the land beyond the horizon. The moon, our nearest neighbor. You must have noticed the moon in the sky at night. It is a heavenly body which moves around our earth just as the earth moves around the sun. The moon is the natural satellite of the earth. The moon is actually a big ball of rock and dust. It is much smaller than the sun. It appears to be about the same size as the sun because it is much closer to the earth than the sun. Other planets in the solar system too have their own moons. The moons move around those planets.